worth the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything the last Indonesian Grand Prix Central back in 1997. Late than we expected, but better late than never. The green flag waves at the back of the grid. We're about to get underway here. The Grand Prix of Indonesia delayed on the lights. The red light comes on and we are underway here. Mother GP action underway in, in Indonesia. Big wheelie off the line there for Jorge Martin in second place. Storming star from Miguel Oliveira on the number 88 factory KTM. Quite a row of the pole man gets the whole shot, but Oliveira up into third. Look Rins. at Alex Rins, Rins straight around the outside. He's ran wide into turn one. He's got Jorge Martin on the side. Rins got a brilliant start from the fourth, third row of the grid. He's now been eased twice by Jorge Martin, but Quattararo, just as he hoped for, he's got the whole shot. He's got a clear track. Well, we saw a sensational start from Brad Binder in the dry starting race in Qatar. A brilliant launch there from the third row by Miguel Oliveira. He started seventh and immediately slots himself in to second place behind Fabio Quattararo. Perfect start for the world champion. Jack Miller's come through into third place. He's a rider that we expected to keep an eye on in these conditions. His teammate, though, Peko Banyai, had a terrible start. He's down six places, down into 12. Look at Juan Mia. He started down in 18th position. He's already cut half of the deficit. He's up into the top 10 and already got the inside of Brad Binder for eighth position. Yeah, really aggressive, hasn't he been already, as he had to be, Juan Mia. Alex Marquez, I think, in the background there, just putting his hand up. I think he might have made a bit of a hard move on somebody into turn number 10. They splash their way through then into the third sector on this opening lap. Fabio Quattararo, just where he wanted to be, coming under early pressure here. Attacking hard is the Portuguese man Miguel Oliveira. The advantage just under three tenths of a second. You can see there the spray being kicked up by Quattararo's own one. If you're a bit mid pack now, it's going to be difficult to pick your way through vision wise in this busy last sector. Well, we feared for Yamaha in these wet conditions, but so far they're going very well. Quattararo leads this Grand Prix. Franco Morbidelli's moved through from 14th on the grid up to sixth now. He's just gone past Jorge Martin. Andre de Vizioso is also going well in 12th as Miguel Oliveira powers his way out of the final corner and eases past Fabio Quattararo. Oh, look at the spray problems further back down the field. I don't know whether Quattararo made a mistake there coming out the final corner. He's been picked off as well now, briefly by Jack Miller into turn one. He just lost all of his exit speed out of turn 17 to Quattararo. That's how Oliveira got through by the time they got to the finish line. And all the momentum lost as well for Quattararo meant Miller got him on the brakes into the first corner. But Oliveira away at the front. Jack Miller, though, on the move in second place. We've got four different manufacturers in the top four at the moment, with Alex Rins just out of picture. There he is in the back of the screens, up in fourth, just ahead of Joan Zarco. Here comes Jack Miller, then up the inside of Miguel Oliveira into turn 10, and he's got that move stuck. That's brilliant by the Ducati man. We thought he was going to be a big, big contender in these rain conditions. These are conditions that the Thriller Miller revels in. Oliveira just struggling for pace. He ran a little bit wide there, then he coming through turn number 11. Thought he was going to get swallowed up by Fabio Quattro. 
Ferrari. As good of a start it's been for Oliveira's KTM, it's been a bad start for Brad Binder. He's dropped outside the top 10 from that promising fourth place. And the championship leader, Enea Bastianini, he's all the way down in 15th spot. So he's not enjoying these conditions at this very early stage. Maybe he'll build into it as this race goes on. But the championship leader is in big trouble at this very early stage. Here are your three leaders then, as Miguel Oliveira has a little bit of a look at Jack Miller. Quattararo's hanging on to them. It looked like he might slip backwards when he lost lead at the start of this lap. But now with some references ahead of him, Quattararo are able to go with the leaders. Quattro is getting swallowed up though. Rins and Zarco pick him off out of that final corner on the brakes into the first corner. Quattro is going the wrong way here. He made a great start, but it's all unraveling pretty quickly here for the world champion. Alex Rins now has got his hands full. Two flying Frenchmen all over his rear tyre. Now this battle, as it rages on, is just giving Miller and Oliveira the chance to break away. You can see the top two men there. They're already going through turn five. Yeah, here's what happens to Fabio Quartararo. I said earlier oh, on in the wall, like, spin. don't touch the curb. So Fabio Quartararo got on the curb and it just lost him all his momentum. I think that's what happened as well, uh, Lewis, earlier in the race. He was out wide on those curves.